Welcome back to Droning with Bob. And uh, today on the bench we have our DJI uh, whoop thing we're trying to do. And um, after I wrapped up on the last one, I kind of was like, you know what, I don't like how this is working. And I've decided that I'm not going to do it that way. I've decided I'm going to go down the route I'd originally chosen, which was to mount on top of the frame, like so, and then to put sort of a top hat on it, like this, with a the all-in-one on top of that, probably more like this, let's say, and then the camera riding Um, probably like so on some standoffs or something I'll figure that out I'll do a 3d print of it and uh, work with it like that so um, and I apologize if things are a little wonky I just got this new camera um, traded in my old one got a new one got the mic on a different set up a different way um, just because the camera's heavy and uh, it's on a big long arm now, so you get slightly better viewing angle. You can notice that this area is wider than this area, so you should be able to see what I'm soldering on a little bit better than you did before, which was looking down like this. So hopefully it turns out for the better. But as I was saying, we need to get this guy situated and mounted up. And um, one of the first things I need to do um, is uh, get this guy uh, soldered up because um, what we're doing is a little bit strange. Um, the <laughs> there is a T1 exposed on this guy. I, I'm hoping this is somewhat in visible uh, or, or visible, I should say, um, on the camera, but. If we look, we have a, uh, and I'll just try and point these out a little bit. We have a, a T1 and a T2. Uh, and I can't use those because, uh, or, or I'm sorry, um, this is an R2 and a T2. And I can't use those because SBUS is attached to this RC and that goes to UART2. And we do have access to T1, however. It's designed mostly for the smart audio port. However, since we're not using smart audio, we can't really use that for what we want. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use T1 and this LED pad and use soft serial. So, because if you recall, what we needed for the DJI was a uh, MSP connection. And then we needed a SBUS connection, which is also called HDL. Uh, it's the slightly faster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the SBUS connection to the RC pad here. And then I'm going to run the, um, uh, the MSP connection, which is basically a UART transmit and receive, to the LED pad and T1 pad. And uh, that's what we're, we're going to try and get done tonight. And uh, if we're lucky, we can get that all soldered up. And then I need to take it over and I need to put the beta flight on it and get that all situated, I think, before I do much else. Um, or maybe I can get it all. I, I can probably do that all in quad. So I might as well just keep going with it. And then uh, once we do all that, we can uh, uh, get it all set down on here. And what we're going to do is just like we planned, except before I had this kind of set too far forward it was gonna hit the props so uh, we've gone back to mounting it in the center and we've also gone down to uh, 2040 props all right well who the fuck knows I mean the entire What is this little flashing red thing? <sighs> yeah. 
you know, you can use words for everything except to indicate what the fuck is going on. I'm annoyed. I'm fucking annoyed. I, I'm, I'm ready to be done with this goddamn build because it's pissing me off. My cameras are pissing me off. Everything's pissing me off. I'm just pissed off. I'm fucking pissed. I don't like being pissed. It pisses me off. always okay the red wire is power and the black wire is ground the uh, white wire is RX connects to the TX and the gray wire connects to the TX that would be the LED this is the T1 the brown wire is not used on this out well we'll just we'll connect it up but yeah. and then the yellow wire is the S bus. So let's do the easy one first. And we do not want all this wire. We want just enough So, this guy is going to be flipped over, and the USB is going to be near the rear. So we want this guy to come forward like so, and come up and attach. So we don't need quite as much on this guy, because he's yellow, yellow, yes. teeny tiny pads one more time oh you had to do that didn't you much better okay now the next one 
we want is the <clears throat> the gray one. That is to connect to the R X of my flight control. So it is gray, and it is this one right here. Now I don't need the whole kit and caboodle, but I do need a little bit. So I'm gonna snip it right there. This guy. Okay. Oh, and the connector on this guy is a one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, seven, eight pin Glarks. Glarks. Uh, that's the pin name or the connector name. I could not remember um, in the previous video. So if you break it or need a new one, that's what you Google Glarks. At least that is my understanding. Good. Okay. Now, the white wire, which is RX, which goes to the flight controller TX, goes down here. And then these guys come over top to there. And this guy can come from over this way, like so. Take that guy off. Get this just another little dollop. And what I'm doing here is I'm just I'm doing the basic tinning which isn't really even tinning. Nope, not good enough. That's good enough. Okay. So we've got this guy pointed up. Then we might as well run the XT30 down, right? Makes sense, I guess. Maybe somewhere. Oh, look! Little doodads for mounting up the flight controller on a soft mount. Ain't that fancy? Okay, we've got that and that. It's looking good. Now, this guy goes to ground, which is on this side. And we want these two, and we probably want to leave this a little long because we've got to come down all the way past this guy. We still got to connect and still got to be able to reach down, so I'm going to leave them just like they are, honestly. And you know what? I'm going to go straight down through those holes, and then I'm going to. I'm going to see if I can get those wires on there. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Okay.
Yeah. Look at that pad. It's all right. We can make it work still. I may have butchered this. We'll see. Yeah, they're touching. Good. All right, that should have done it. Let's try. Woohoo, baby. Talk dirty to me. 
Alright. So, this guy. And... This guy. So this guy goes right there, actually. It needs to be connected to that ground pad. Now that I think about it. Otherwise, S bus won't work. Well, won't work correctly, I don't think. Okay. Come on. Don't do me wrong. Be good to me. Show me the money. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. Oh, it says it's still recording. I don't know what happened. We'll see. It's alright. If this turns to shit, we'll see. Yeah, we're going to be running this on 3S. Should be fun. Exciting. 3S 650. I've never actually run anything on... 653s, done 453s, and this might run on that too, honestly. And then, yeah. Okay, we're playing games with me now. That's it, right there. That's one of the fiddlier that I've dealt with. One of the fiddlier. Yep, gonna matter just like so. I reckon. In order to do that, though, I need to get these guys situated, I think, in the board, and then figure out the mounting on this guy. So we'll come up from under. So this will be the top side, and we'll screw, we'll screw the standoffs on. We'll set it up on here. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Alright, I have no idea how long we've really been recording, because, you know, I'm not keeping terribly good track. So we'll just keep going for a little bit more. And get out the... Uh, 
No. Uh, do I already have the M2 standoffs out? I don't see them. You know, you can tell I have too many parts. Too many bits and bobs. I'm just going to go with the shortest standoffs. And we will come up from the bottom. Get this nice little kit. And these plastic, they are. These are all plastic. Except for these little metal doodads. Why would they give us metal doodads? That's a little weird, right? Metal. That's what those are, right? Little aluminum metal doodads. Weird. <clears throat> Not worth thinking about. So we've got that and that. We need something like so come up through yeah that's gonna work I reckon Super long or something. Yeah, but he is. Yeah, he gets too long. Okay, so we'll be able to screw this guy on, we'll be able to set this guy Well, ain't you just a motherfucker? Yeah, I reckon I can make that work. Okay, here we go. Little doodads. Yeah. I'm going to put one in the front and one in the rear to get us started. Okay, where'd you go? I'm looking right at it. It had been a snake. I 
Yeah, I'm alright with that. Mm. Well, shit. Okay. Guess we're going out that side. Right? <clears throat> yep. Like so. Which means I gotta run the wire up and not hit or bring it over bring it in yeah let's do it that way That's gonna work, I think. I uh, reckon. Okay. Set this aside. And yeah, I think we can make it work. Ah. Uh, so now we're at a good stopping place, sort of. The night. Tomorrow, we will come back finish our installation here of this guy make sure we haven't disrupted anything too terribly I think it's okay yeah yeah and uh, then we'll get our canopy mocked up and print it out Mm-hmm. Yeah, the canopy is going to be the tricky one. And then these guys, we'll just bring in like that, bring them over a bit, and straight up the wire. Or straight up the post. And over and on. And I think I can... These guys right here. Hopefully. All right, then. That's going to do it. Thanks for watching. I hope I caught some amount of this on my new camera. We'll see. Could be that I just... It was recording and I wasn't paying attention and didn't see the labels or... I don't know. Or I didn't press the right button to start it. Who the fuck knows? But we're coming up on 29 minutes and 42 seconds. So let's see if it quits after 30 minutes. 48 seconds, 49, 50, 51. Motherfucker. Stopped recording after 30 minutes. Well, that explains it. Thanks for watching.